Hi chicas, how's everybody doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing good. Today we're going to be recreating this design, so then let's get started. I did not show you the products or the acrylics we're going to be using on this particular design, just because we're only going to be using a crystal clear. In this case, the crystal clear that I'm using is the one from Glam and Glitz, and I'm also using their monomer with it. This is a number 16 brush, which is from eBay. And you can purchase this uh, on the eBay app or eBay website. I will well, I actually always leave it in the description box just in case anyone is interested in buying it. It is very, very good quality and very inexpensive. So if you're looking for a good quality brush, um, but inexpensive as well, this one is amazing you guys like it's amazing i highly highly recommend it and um the best part of it is that again it's very inexpensive so okay chicas i'm gonna be applying the clear onto all of my nails so um you know just trying to make the right thickness to the nail try not to make them too thin because since these are all clear sometimes we tend to make them pretty thin um but try not to make them thin you guys try to make the right thickness to them you know so that they don't break is easily so now moving on to my ring finger and my middle finger i'm going to be applying a super thin coat of crystal clear just so that the little leaves can adhere onto the nail and they don't move around whenever I come and cap everything. So the leaves that I'm going to be using are going to be green and orange, I think. I think that's what I saw on the original picture, you guys. Um, you guys, just work with what you have at home. Work with anything you have laying around. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm using or what... what the original um artist did or what they used you know just have whatever you have just use whatever you have laying around at home um like i've always told you guys recreations yeah the best part of a recreation is that you put in your own personal touch you know what i mean every single recreation you make will have your own personal touch as a nail artist so that's the best part of it you guys um when i would first start doing recreations i would be like oh my god but it doesn't even look the same i don't even have the same products and this and that blah 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 but then i was like you know what it does not matter this is my own personal touch and i made this um of course it is a recreation but it has my personal thing you know my personal touch to it so that's the best thing to it you guys so now i'm gonna go ahead and cap everything down because since these are just you know little loose leaves you want to make sure that they stay in place and you don't mess with them whenever you come and file the design because um again if you don't cap them and you come and file your design you will ruin that you guys i mean it's not gonna look like a leaf anymore um so you want to make sure that you cap everything in place and just secure everything in there and um i'm just watching you know my my sidewalls trying to perfect them so that they don't like the acrylic doesn't run towards the sidewalls and i don't have to file as much and you know try not to touch the cuticle area so now that i've um shaped and buffed off camera and filed i'm gonna go ahead and use this ibd uh hard gel i buy i get this one from bynail.com very inexpensive um so i've noticed that whenever doing the sugar effect this one or using a hard gel it makes your sugar effect really last so you want to make sure that you use a hard gel so that your sugar effect lasts at least um, up, up until your client comes back for a refill so now just applying it with this poly gel brush it just makes it easier to apply it onto the nail 
you know just trying to give it a thin coat all throughout the the whole nail and then i'm gonna go in with this glitter that i bought off of dollar tree quite well quite a while ago i'm sorry you guys i can't talk today um and then i'm gonna be kind of like um you know putting it and i'm um, sprinkling it around the nail um and i don't cure yet you guys make sure that you don't cure your gel yet before you put it in the lamp make sure that you go in with your glitter just sprinkle it on top and then you put it in the lamp okay so i noticed that on the original picture it also has like a little sticker of a leaf so i went in with this one you know that's the closest one that i saw that i had so i just stuck it what stuck it what that's not even a word <laughs> I just placed it and um, you know just trying to make sure it won't come off and then with a black painting gel I'm gonna be doing this little like um, like a like a reverse U or something I don't know you guys I was trying to recreate the design as much as I can so I thought that it has something like this on the original picture so i just went ahead and did it with a painting gel this is a black painting gel that i got off of ebay very inexpensive like 83 cents to a dollar or something very good and very inexpensive you guys um and then i cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds because since it's a black gel it tends to take longer to cure so make sure that you put it in the lamp in your lamp for a little longer um, just so that you know you're making sure that it really cures you know what I mean so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my matte top coat from not polish and we do have a discount code so don't forget to go and check them out if you want bomb acrylics you guys because they have bomb products including their top coats so this is their matte and I'm gonna be applying it in my two middle fingers which is my ring finger and my middle finger and then I'm going to cure them, cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds. So once it comes out of the lamp, I'm going to go ahead and add my crystals. It has three little crystals here on the side of the cuticle area of the ring finger. And then on the middle finger, it goes around that little black design we made right now. So these are some champagne crystals that I had from last year. Um, I purchased them off of AliExpress. Very inexpensive and I know that they kind of look dull right now but as soon as I go ahead and clean them off with some alcohol, um, the shine comes back. So I really do like using these. I think I'm gonna start buying these in like in real Swarovski because I love this color of crystal. It just goes with everything. It goes with blue, red, purple. It goes with any color, you guys. Especially right now for fall, it's very popular. So um, I think I am gonna buy the real Swarovskis because I love this um, this color in crystals. So. Yeah, chicas, then after that, I just apply a little bit of cuticle oil. And this is about it, chicas. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, it's just a simple recreation. Um, uh, I will have her information, her, you know, the creator, the her Instagram and everything linked in the description box. We gotta give her credit for her amazing work. She does amazing work and beautiful work, you know, nothing compared to what I just did. But, you know, these are just recreations and ideas for you guys so that you guys know that um, you don't necessarily have to have anything, you know, exactly what she did or what she has, you know. So, yeah, chicas, her information will be in the description box, giving her all credits. Um, and yeah, chicas, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're not new, don't forget to like, comment, and share, please, you guys. That really helps out my channel. So yeah, chicas, I'll see you here on the next one. Thank you for being here. God bless. Take care of yourselves, please. And bye-bye.